morning! So today we'll be doing a lab related to pyruvate 3 oxides reaction with sodium hydroxide solution and nitric acid. So we're going to see whether these oxides will dissolve in both solutions or not. Alright, let's check it out! Alright guys, you can have a look at the apparatus and material setup. So over here, I have got aluminium oxide powder, magnesium oxide powder. Um, this is silicon dioxide and on this side we have got nitric acid 2 mol per dn cube sodium hydroxide 2 mol per dn cube this would be the labeled test tubes that you're going to use later on Mary cylinder your tiny spatula and the glass rod all right let's go on to the next step Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I will put all these oxide powders into their respective test tubes first because uh, it's more efficient that way. Okay, so this is aluminum. So I'm supposed to use a one quarter spatula, but this spatula is small, so probably half of this one. So, there you go. Aluminum oxide, so... Oh, be careful not to spill. You don't want to waste uh, any chemicals here. So it's about half. Um, there you go, on this one. Next is uh, magnesium oxide, so let's put it into an magnesium oxide test tubes. Okay, it's more spillage. I'm supposed to put uh, the solutions, the respective solutions into the test tubes as labeled. Alright, so I will start with uh, nitric acid first, okay, and I will be using this test tube. You are supposed to put in 5 cm cubes, so it's uh, somewhere here. Make sure you read the meniscus right, correctly. Okay, there goes. You can stir it with the glass rod. Okay, so just now some of these uh, are mixtures they are not dissolving well so we're going to try the second method which is to cover, to close it with the stopper and then you try to shake it vigorously and see what happens next. Okay, let's have a look. Still no right? We will try the next step. Alright guys, let's uh, have a look at our final uh, product of the uh, experiment so you can see the aluminium and so, uh, aluminium oxide and nitric acid this and this okay since we know that aluminium oxide is amphoteric both are giving similar observation in the experiment so they dissolve a little bit I wouldn't say they dissolve uh, entirely but definitely dissolve a little bit so there are some reaction between uh, aluminium oxide with acid and aluminium oxide with alkali which shows that aluminium oxide is amphoteric okay then you can see that silicon dioxide and uh, 
nitric acid is like totally no, quite a lot left, and the solution form is not very clear either. So this not this is just a mixture basically because they don't react. So this one, yeah, acid and acid, nope, acidic oxide and acid, nope. Okay, so this is like our best outcome: magnesium oxide and nitric acid. So definitely reaction happens here, neutralization happens here. Okay, let's see this one, silicon dioxide and sodium hydroxide. Uh, dissolve a little bit, you can see that the solid is uh, left, I mean some of them have uh, been reacted but the solution form is uh, not very clear. Nonetheless, there's still reaction. Lastly, magnesium oxide and sodium hydroxide. Whatever we put in just now is entirely still here and you can see that the solution is also very murky so no reaction for this one. Okay. So guys, I hope that you understood how the experiment goes. For any other further question, you can always check out in the book or you can ask me directly. Until then, see ya!